Hey there everyone, this is Mr. Lindsay with another um, drawing video on perspective drawing. Um, we've done a couple different videos of this and different ways we can use one point perspective to make our art look 3D. Um, for this one we're going to do um, a worm's eye view and use our vanishing point to look like a point in the sky. And then we'll draw a city of buildings that look like they're going up into the sky, very tall buildings, and we are on the ground like the worm looking up. So with this one, I will put my vanishing point towards the middle of my paper. It doesn't have to be perfect, but try to get it somewhere in the center or close. So I'm going to put a dot here. I don't want that dot super dark because later I want to erase it, but I need to make it dark enough you guys can see it on the video. So there's my vanishing point. Now I use a ruler for this. I think it's way easier with a ruler um, or something that you can draw a straight line with. And my first step is to draw a couple lines that angle out towards the top from my vanishing point. So I'm going to draw one about here. Okay. I'll turn, draw another one about here. Okay, then I can turn and draw another one, starting at the bottom and going to the bottom edge. And then I'll draw another one here. And what I'm getting is a couple triangles. These are going to be buildings. Okay, now I'm going to draw a couple more lines on these sides to create uh, more triangles for buildings. So I'll draw one about here, going to the side or edge of my paper. This one from the point to this edge. And then the last side. So I'm doing this on every side of my paper, basically. Two lines from the vanishing point out. Okay. So each one of these triangles here will be a building. So I end up with eight. This way I'll have eight buildings. Okay, just an easy way to kind of divide up my paper. Now I have to draw the tops of the buildings because remember, this is going to be like the sky way up in here, but I don't want the buildings to be never ending. So I'm going to draw a line that shows the top. So right here, I'll just draw a straight line across. And I imagine that is the top edge of this building. And then I like to turn my paper when I do this. So I'll turn. Now this is another building. So I need a line that shows me the top of it as it goes up towards the sky. So that can be the top of that building. Turn it. And then I can change them up. They don't all have to be exactly the same. Maybe the top of this building does that. So it's a little different. And I keep working my way around until I have drawn the top of all of them. Okay, maybe this one has a curve for the top, so the building looks more like a cylinder in the end. Okay, so I'm just going to keep going. Top, the top, and then I have one more, and I'll just put it right here. Now, once I have that, this area that's the sky, well, I need to erase all these extra lines in here. I can keep my point for now if I want, but I want to erase these extra lines back down to the top edge of the building. So those go away. But remember, the vanishing point is just that point that we use to help us make everything look like it's getting smaller and smaller, but all the same way. And with one point perspective, we use one point. All right, so there we go. I've erased all that extra stuff. I'm going to leave that point there, though, for now, just so I remember where it's at. Okay, now the sky, a lot of times I like to draw something in the sky just to make it look more like the sky. So I'll just do a couple clouds. You could easily add a cloud or two in the sky. There we go, so my clouds. All right, now later on, I like to color my sky in like a light blue so that it just appears more like the sky. Now I can move on to some details on these buildings. Now remember, we have a point. 
we have to draw things in perspective. So if I were to draw a door here on this building, it has to line up with the vanishing point. It doesn't have to be perfect, but try to line it up. So if I want a doorway here, okay, maybe this is the top of the door, the entrance to the building. Now the sides, these lines have to aim at the vanishing point. So I can use my ruler and line it up just right with the point. Okay, line it up. There's my vanishing point. This would be the side of that door. Okay, I lined it up with the point. Same with this one. Okay, I'm going to line the point up with the other side of that entrance. Right about there. And then draw the line right here for the side. Okay, now as far as the lines on, on it, maybe I split it into... Or I'll put one here, one here, one here, and slightly tilt these so they're aiming at the point, or you can use a ruler and go exactly to the point. Okay, I can put some handles on here, and then I would have my entrance to the building. Okay, windows. They do need to aim at the point. I could make individual windows. I could make a grid that looks like windows. Okay, so if I did a grid, Basically, I would just be drawing lines this direction. Okay, maybe I'll start here with my ruler. Draw a line here and a line here. And I slowly spread them further apart as they go down because that's how they would really look. The lines would be closer together the closer they are to the top of the building. And then the lines that create the actual windows, well, they line up with the point. So I would draw maybe one right down the middle, lining up with my vanishing point, still there. Turn it. This lines up with the point. Maybe I'll split the difference and do one right in between. And then turn this one and line it up with the point. So that grid of windows all lines up with my vanishing point. So it looks like they're getting smaller like they should. Now I can draw individual windows too and just make them smaller as I go. So maybe I'll do that on this building here. This building on the corner. Maybe the door I make it a little more simple. Instead of drawing this, I'm just going to draw something like that. Put a line down the middle. Handles. All right. There's my door. And maybe the windows are the same. There's one, two, and three. If I do my windows individually like this, the main idea is to make them smaller as you go up. So the next row, make the same three windows, but slightly smaller that way. They look like they're getting further and further away. So I'm not using my vanishing point to make each window. I'm just making them smaller as I go up, which you kind of have to do anyways because the building gets smaller towards the top. And I just keep going until I'm out of room for windows. Okay, and then this building has an entrance and windows. Looks pretty cool. Looks like it's really going up into the sky. Um, so that's kind of how you do the windows on each. I could do windows that are square. They don't all have to be curved like that. I could do the grid, okay, or maybe I just do, let me just draw this quick. This is going to aim towards the point, top of my entrance. This is going to aim at the point, okay. I'm going to draw three doors on this, and then maybe I do normal windows that are just like square, so I'll draw. Remember, they kind of aim at the point. I don't have to use my ruler for each window. I can just sketch them in. And then, like I said, make sure that they kind of angle towards the point on the sides. And then just try to make each window a little smaller as you go up. The most important thing right now is that you change the size as you work your way to the top. And then it will look more 3D that way for sure. Okay, so there's another one. So I would continue that on every building. Come up with different things you want. I did one on a sample where I 
did the top like this, and I just made it up and said, okay, well, maybe this is the Lego store. And I made the doorway a little different. Okay, it's kind of up to you how you want to make these. There's the entrance. Maybe instead of windows, I just draw Legos on the building. That'd be a little bit different than the others. Okay, and then I can do my details. I can color these Legos in. And then I can put a little sign that says Lego store on it. Oops, Lego store. There we go. Okay, so just for fun, I can make my buildings into whatever I want. So if you want to have some fun with it, instead of just making plain buildings with windows and doors, you could make them certain things like a different theme. I could have a pet store. I could have oh, a toy store or something about my favorite video games, and I could design each building that way. So you get the idea. I'm not going to draw all the details now, but you can finish yours up and finish your buildings, work your way around and continue all of them so they all have some details like the ones I started. When you're all done, I would just color a little bit. You don't have to color the whole picture in, but with one of my samples, I just did a little bit of color. Like, let me show you this one. Here's one with a little color. I colored the sky. I colored my windows. I colored my doors. I colored the signs. So there you go. That is our one point perspective bird's eye view or worm's eye view sorry bird's eye is the opposite way of our buildings and i am interested and look forward to seeing what you come up with